Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be using the Insect Glaive against the level 183 Shogun Sienitar. With the restriction that I can do every Insect Glaive user's dream of only using aerial attacks. I will make one exception. I am allowed to use my Kinsect purely to animation cancel, which does damage unfortunately, but it's better than doing a regular attack to cancel. And here is our quest. I've been doing it because I want to level it to 200. I've got three of them at 200 now, I just want more of them, because it'll be nice to have any monster I need at any level. Alrighty, here is Shogun, let's just get our buffs, the usual uh, Insect Glaive shenaniganery, and get up in the air, because that's... What is he doing? Okay, what we should be doing... Now I have optimized this set a little bit, so... It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anomalies do way too much fucking damage, and I didn't grab the health potions. This is gonna be great. Sit. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, this set has been optimized a little bit. Oh my fucking god, really? What? <laughs> you went down for one attack, mate. What is this? Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my shit already. Okay. This honestly shouldn't be that bad. I have playtested this and it does okay. It does roughly the amount that I see players doing in SOSs. So it should be fine, theoretically. Yeah, there I uh, animation cancelled with my Kinsect. As I said I would earlier, because it just obviously does less damage than a regular hit. And we don't want to do as many regular hits as possible. I didn't have... I thought I had a wire bug. I did not. Okay. No, I'm dead. Okay, yeah. Gave me a second to breathe there. I really wish I grabbed the med pluses, honestly. But he's going after the Jagras, so we get a tiny bit of breathing room. He's going to explode so many times. Why did I choose one of the monsters that just don't uh, continuously fight you the whole time? There's quite a few monsters that just run away repeatedly, wasting the anomaly time. Okay, let's get back to him. No, no, no. Okay. We missed, unfortunate. We got no buffs now. So get that back if we can. We can get it back through Kinsex Slash as well. If we get a chance. Haven't really been able to hit him too much, which is annoying me. Okay. That made sense. Oh, <laughs> uh, I promise this build's not that bad. It, This is so annoying. It really, really isn't. It does keep up with general players that... I see, I'm just playing like terrible. <laughs> playing like terrible. I'm playing terribly. So it may take a while to begin with until I get anything going. But that's okay. It's part of the challenge, I guess. Because uh, the general player with basically like a super unoptimized raw set will do like maybe 40 DPS, which isn't great. Okay, I didn't want that mount anyway, that's fine. Okay, that gave us a bit of a knockdown. We take those. That's gonna get me killed, isn't it? Maybe. Okay, let's hop on here, get some free damage going. Finally get a knockdown, and then we might get a stun out of it, because we do have a blunt beetle, which uh, inflicts stunning damage if you hit the head. Because I found this to be the best Kinsect, even though it's low level. I don't know why they didn't update the other Kinsects to be the same level. But uh, this Kinsect here will actually grab me the white and orange buff at the same time. So it is incredibly useful when fighting monsters that actually have roars. As you're able to get to them and... Oh my god. And actually uh, get your buffs so you can't get roared out of the air. Oh my god, mate. I really wish you could, uh, 
crouch and heal in this game, but you just can't. Actually, I think you can, you just have to... Um... What's it called? Crouch first. No idea how that hit me. That's lovely. As you can see, the Kinsect's gonna hit a bunch by accident anyway. That's kinda why I was like, yeah, I'll... Let myself do that. Stun? Yep. Oh, I wanna do optimal combos so bad. <laughs> it does so much damage. Okay. Nice. There's a stance break. I think that's two. Oh, we didn't have stamina. Apparently we lost our buffs there too. Let's grab it with this. There we go, we've got our red now. Straight on the dome. Into one of these. Some decent damage out of that. Okay. Not sure what he's doing here. Maybe he's just exhausted. Ah, damn. I think we missed. Yeah. Okay. Now, as I said in a previous one, I can't remember which one exactly, but the Kinsect is actually really nice on uh, Insect Lave with Powder Mantle. Because you can use your Kinsect to activate the blue buff if you were to get it. Okay, okay. I'm not letting myself get enough stamina back. That's why we have to finish early with our uh, triple hit. Let's use two wire box there just to get that damage. Please, I wish I could get away from anything. But uh, I went basically full damage. So oh my fucking god, this is annoying me. <laughs> I just want to move. But I can't because there's no comfort in this set because it needs to do any kind of damage. To get through this, seal up past Moxie so we can at least live if he procs the bleed. Wait for that animation to cancel. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I, genuinely 100% serious. This set is pretty good. <laughs> I'm just playing so badly for some reason. Let's uh, grab this mount after these bugs. Okay, don't grab the just a bad day for me apparently. I wanted to grab the bats for the healing. But we gotta get Gil Rathi in here who missed both her things but that's okay. Now we're in the air which is not ideal. Okay she's back down. Back down to earth good girl. Two, three. One, two, three. Either of them gonna hit? Okay. I guess we'll just poison it, even though we've been having it poisoned anyway, because this is a uh, poison insect glaive. I so badly wanted to attack there, but... Oh, actually, I could have. Aerial. I'm allowed to attack, right. Okay. Some good damage there. Do a diving wyvern, and took a buttload of damage. Not ideal. Really wish I had my uh, med pluses. Okay, he's just leaving. We might go grab the med pluses now, actually. Yeah, so like I said at the, the start, when we were getting ready, basically, Aerial Insect Glaive is still kind of a meme, but they did kind of bring it up. As I said, it will keep up with somewhat unoptimal players, which is okay. Like, I was genuinely keeping up with most people that are, like, 150, like, level 150 and above, unless they were using really good sets. Like, uh, elemental bows and bow guns and that. Get away. So, it can do work. I'm just not going to make it do work, because why did that only hit once? And we don't have Anomaly Blight. That's delightful. Oh, there's a stance break. We take those. My god, okay. I want to do the good combos so bad. But, uh, yeah, the, the land combos are actually amazing this time around. So you definitely should be using them if you're playing Insect Glaive a bit. It does so much damage. This bleed might actually kill us if he hits us out of this, so we might need to be careful here. Powder Mantle, nice. Some free damage, and we missed. Cancel with that, so we can move. Stop moving completely. Oh, stop. Okay, there we go. Cool, we got our... Went back into the air for him to move. Lovely. Probably going to go underground now. No? He gets stunned again. It's alright. On top of him. On the dome ski. No, no, mate. 
I do have, um, I think it's called Dango Fighter. It helps a lot with your aerial game so you don't have to build into constitution as heavily. That's why I've got some good stamina regen as well. It's because we can run full, uh, well, basically full stamina surge, which is great for this kind of play style. I forgot that he didn't start with this shell, so now he has this shell. <laughs> Lovely. Really? That's gonna hit me, isn't it? No? Okay. That will, though. I couldn't do anything about that. It's, uh, been real annoying today. There we go. There's one. Go over here. Should be two. That'll be the third. Can't do any damage out of that, sadly. So we just had to stop. Okay. Right on the face. On the face again. Do this. Go on to him. We're missing a buff, sadly, so we've got to land. Otherwise, I would have gone for damage. But we should get it really easy here, because, as I said, this Kinsek grabs defense and... Uh, what's the other one? Speed from every single attack, unless you hit the face. In which case, it only grabs defense and the red. Which isn't too bad. That's going to hurt. Oh, we got lucky. Go back on top of him. And now we die. I really need to start running stun res on sets that don't do damage. Jax, please. Oh my god, he actually hit me. He did it for once. My dog actually saved me. Instead of missed. I'm sorry for ever doubting you, Jax. But uh, yeah, the, the grander combo is just so much better. If you get an opening from doing like aerial shenanigans, you should definitely capitalize on doing your grander combos. They do so much damage. Especially with things like Powder Mantle and Build Up Boost. It's crazy strong. Okay. Oh, I, I love hitboxes that don't make sense. I really do. That doesn't hit me, right? Oh, I swear that should have hit me. With how uh, bullshit that recent one was. Let's do this finisher. Because we don't have energy to jump to him. Should really be getting my stamina to full. But that's okay. Hit the face. Go back to him. Hit the face again. I think this is... Oh, that was the third apparently. Can I make it out of there? Okay, that's good. I don't know if I could or not. That's our third. Under the face. We take those. And there's our powder mantle from the Kinsect. As I said, it's so, so juicy. Okay. There's another stun. Or a uh, stagger, I guess. On the face again. Almost a thousand from that one. Not bad. Alright. We got no buffs. We can fix that pretty easily. Except we have no comfort! <laughs> have to go up or we'll die. Let's go up here actually. Oh my god, we should have been dead. Okay, can I crouch and heal? No, I can't. Why have they removed that? I have no idea why they fixed it. It was definitely a thing in world. Because you used to sit in bushes to get out of combat for like half a second and then uh, heal. Specifically against like Odegaron and other monsters that were in that zone. It was very good. You could also use it for sharpening. Let's go over here. See, that time it hit me. It's so inconsistent. Of course, we can't get rid of bleed until we stop. No fucking way. <laughs> what is my luck today? Goodness gracious. Of course I play tested this set and it was good and then now it's just not performing. That's delightful. Okay. We take those. I really want to do my good combo. <laughs> Every time. Okay. There's three. Into the head. Take a big hit because we can't get out of there in time. That was even with animation cancelling we couldn't get out. Do you appear on top of me? No? Okay, let's get on the dog. Okay, that's fine with me. I wish the bleed would go away on the dog, because obviously you can't crouch. But that's okay. 
can deal with it. Go over to him. Get some easy hits on the face. Over here. Okay. Why, man? Okay. I guess I'll take it. It's gonna be active. Delay it. Delay it. Yep. Oh, he's blue. Okay. See now, if I had a clean start to begin with, this probably would have been so much faster. But it just wasn't because I played terribly. But that's okay. We missed the weak po weak point. Feels bad. Yeah, stumble away. I haven't actually seen this animation. He usually goes underground, and then does that. Okay, I guess we just dive and wiving a diving wive in his face. Unless we can hit this baggy. Just need to make sure my uh, kinsect isn't locked onto him. Uh, one, two, three, go over to him. There we go. Decent start, 1500 damage, we'll take it. Get our buff back. Thank you, baggies. There's a stance break. Two, three, on the face. Nice. Okay. Yeah, if I was playing properly, he would have been dead like 10 minutes ago. We've gotten so many knockdowns from playing like this. It's ridiculous. I was hoping if I delayed it, we'd hit him. Did not. Even there, just if we were attacking him normally, he easily, easily would have died. Because I think he's like 2% now, something like that. Would be my estimation. Okay. There's a part break. Into that. No! Are we gonna count that? Okay, how can I make this up? Let's uh, let's try and finish him with a level 3 Diving Wyvern for style. No, man. Okay. He doesn't want it, apparently. Ah, uh, He's so low, dude. Okay. Not happy about that. Okay, we're finally back to where we were. I'm so mad that I did that last hunt. Where I accidentally animation cancelled with a regular attack. I want to say he was like 3% health, by the way. He must have been so close. But uh, this Shogun here has also been the biggest pain in the butt. Which, funnily enough, I think this is probably the best monster to show Aerial Glaive. I've just been having a terrible, terrible run today. Apparently. This is my first hunt of the day, but Jesus, it's been so painful. Okay. Because uh, you can jump over a lot of his stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. If you just delay the hits, it seems to move your hitbox back up to where it should be. Opposed to being down in front of him, which is what I think it was doing. Which is why I just got absolutely slobbered every time I went for an aerial attack. Also, Shogun seems to refuse to give me Anomaly Blight, which has been so infuriating. See, this won't hit me if I'm actually still in the air. Yeah, do your thing. Get our blue buff. Get our red from the face. Which we didn't, but that's okay. Yeah, he, he, he couldn't have been far. He would have been like 2%. This run was actually 5 minutes faster than the one we had going as well, which... I promise you I didn't do melee stuff. I wouldn't do that after resetting a run because I meleeed. That's just stupid. Don't get me wrong though, I did have fun. It was a good challenge. Not how I'd usually play Insect Glaive. And the fact it didn't perform as well as I had been using it, because I have used this before, it was infuriating that I couldn't do it on camera. Well everybody, that was a level 183 Shogun Sienatar with the Insect Glaive. Only using aerial attacks. Bit unfortunate that we fucked up the first one, but it happens. But as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.